I just want to cover briefly a couple of the reasons that the 401k solo uh, K is better than the checkbook IRA. Um, if you're able to qualify by being an employer employee with no other employees other than you know owners, except your spouses are allowed, there are several things that are really cool about the solo K. Uh, number one, you can put a lot more money in and shelter it from taxes. Uh, the IRA, you can put like $6,000 a year, so you and your wife could put in like twelve. But with the Solo K, you could put up, you and your wife, if you depending on your age and how much money you make, you could put in up to $118,000 a year, shelter. And as soon as it goes in, it goes into the plan and you're the administrator, so you can instantly invest it in something. So that's weight. Number two, you have no custodian. There's no custodian involved whatsoever. You are the plan administrator. You open an account and and that's where the account is. There's no custodian. You don't have to ask anybody. You have a plan that we draft up that's approved by the IRS that gives you the authority to do all these things as a plan administrator. How much money can be put in, How what investments can be done. And you have no custodian over it, none. So that plan is local and, you, and set up in your local bank account. The reporting is negligible. Until you get to have 250000 in your account, you don't even send a report to the IRS. There's no tax return because there's no LLC. You don't have that. You're just you're writing checks out of the plan, so you don't need an LLC. You can add one if you want to, but you don't need one. The next thing is, this is really cool if you're buying real estate. If you leverage real estate with an IRA, whatever percentage is leveraged, like let's say you leverage 60% of something, so that means you put down, let's say it was $100,000, you put down 40 grand out of your IRA and you borrowed $60,000. Then 60%, excuse me, of the profits were earned by non-IRA money. Therefore, 60% of the profits are taxable. And it's a pay. Um, you know, it's not a, and it can be a pretty healthy tax, but it's kind of a, you know, it's a headache. Now, um, with 401k, there is no UBIT tax like that, none. So you put down $1,000 on a $100,000 property and, and you make, you double your money, you make a $200,000 now you've got in your account. It's all treated like it's IRA money. There's no, there's no UBIT tax at all, none, zero. You don't even have to report it. So that's, uh, you know, that's really out, outstanding. And then finally, with an IRA, if you needed some money to do a deal personally, or maybe you need a little money for a little bit, you can't touch it with an IRA. Now you can pull it out for 60 days, once every 20, once every 12 months. Not once a year, once every 12 months. So if you pulled it out in February, you can't pull it out next January. You gotta wait till February rolls around. But you got 60 days to get the money back in. With a 401k, you can borrow up to half of the amount that's in your 401k plan up to a maximum of $50,000. That can be personal, it's just borrowed out. You pay you know, hardly any interest and you structure the loan. You're the guy that does it, you're the plan administrator. You approve that loan and it's totally legal. So you can take that money, maybe put a kid through school and then pay it back later or whatever. So that's another advantage. So there's certainly some advantages uh, with the solo 401k. Cost is about the same as a checkbook IRA to set it up and on an annual basis. So if you can qualify for that, uh, that's the reason that the solo K is, is really gaining popularity.